This is our 100 amp, 5,000 watt motor speed controller. And comes in a nice rugged case. Has a cooling fan inside. It's got these connections. Negative, positive. These two go to the motor. It's got a potentiometer which could be hooked up to a throttle with a little ingenuity this could be hooked up to a, a foot throttle or a hand throttle cable it's reversible it's got a reversing switch and this is the way the wire diagram looks so you got the cooling fan nice big capacitors this will handle up to 50 volts so you can use it for 48 volt systems and negative these two go to the motor which is reversible your power the power switch potentiometer and reverse switch so that's your wiring diagram now we happen to have one of these all set up ready to go And we're just going to clip it together. This is going to go to the battery. Let me see if I can zoom in on the battery here. Bring the battery a little closer. Okay. All right. So negative to negative. Now you will get a little spark off this when you make contact. because it's energizing and this little red light in here will go on. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Okay, we're gonna get one of our 12 volt motors. Put it right there. And I'm gonna hook the red to the red. Make sure this is off. Okay, that's the, turning that off and then okay, so should we we're ready to go. I'm not sure this is forward or backward, but here we go. Turn that turns nice and slow. That's full speed. Now if you turn it off, you'll see it'll actually go into um, a dynamic braking mode. It actually tries uh, to go into regenerative braking. So whenever you let off the throttle, it's going to recharge your battery. But you got to totally let off the throttle. And you can see the the action there. Let's see if I can zoom the camera in a little closer. It's really turning slow. We got it on extra slow RPM. All right, Let's go a little faster. Turn it off quick, put it into regenerative braking mode just by turning it off. So it's like a set of brakes and if you're going down a hill it'll also charge your batteries up. All right. Oh, reverse. Hit the little reverse switch. Now it's going the other direction. I've never tried hitting this reverse on the fly. I hope I don't break it. Nope. Looks like it's got a nice little switch in there to 
help protect it. Now next we're going to try this on at 24 volt. <laughs> 